Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is The Timster. Today I'm going to be going over part 8 in the Project FPS tutorial series. Now in the last part we set up the animations for throwing the smoke grenade and also for throwing the uh, normal grenade. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out that part so you have those animations done. In this episode or tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to be setting up the programming behind it uh, to sort of set up criteria and stuff for the player to play that animation. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well, get straight on into it, and then over here I'm going to move this up here. Under the rig I'm going to add myself uh, two animations. This one will be Gren Throw. If you want to, you can put an underscore, maybe I may as well, Gren underscore Throw. Then we'll search up Grenade Throw, and then here we will type in 50 as they're both 50 uh, frames long. Give it some blending and that should be fine, maybe priority to 1. Over here we will type in smoke underscore throw and then over here what we'll do is uh, we'll go to smoke throw. This one here, give it some blending and frame 50 and priority to 1. Alright, so those two are done. What we might do now is in here we'll add another Python controller and this one we'll, we'll call shoot. Now this will be controlling sort of all of our shooting uh, but it will also control our stabbing and slicing animations for our knife as well as our uh, throwing for the grenades. So that will all be in one, mainly for the reason it uses pretty much the same sensors. So we'll all sort of combine that into one script. So I'm going to get rid of this here. Scroll along here, choose text editor, and then move that down. Select a new uh, script, and in here we'll type in shoot.py. Top line, uh, import bge, cont is equal to bge dot bge dot logic get current controller own is equal to cont dot owner move that down here then to our gun spawn we're going to have to add uh, well probably two um, yeah two properties so this one will be an integer this one will also be an integer this one will be grenades and this one here will be smoke. So these are basically how many we have. Uh, and so then what I'm going to do is over here import in my properties. So grenades is equal to own grenades. And then smoke is equal to own smoke. Alright, uh, we need to also join in our animations here. So uh, hover over the logic editor, control up arrow to go full screen then join the smoke throw and the grenade throw in here then also we have to add in our well, grenade up and our smoke up so make sure you have all of those added in then on this side we want to actually, we didn't actually use the well these two I mean, these two mouse sensors, we didn't actually use them in our reload script. However, we will use them in our shoot here, so join them up to this instead. Then we'll select shoot.py, and there we go, that should be that sorted. Control down arrow to go back to normal view, and then we'll select these here so we can see what's happening. Then uh, over here, I'm going to type in a pound symbol or a hashtag, and I'm going to type in, well, pretty much import in these animations. So, animations, the first one is grenade up, so gren up is equal to cont dot actuators, and then gren up, uh, whoops, gren up, and then uh, smoke up is equal to cont dot actuators smoke up then the last two or the throwing gran throw is equal to cont dot actuators gran underscore throw 
then smoke underscore throw is equal to cmt dot actuators and then smoke underscore throw all right so that should be that done then what we're going to do is also import in our sensors so uh, in here I'm going to type in sensors and then do auto is it equal to cmt dot sensors and then auto fire just like it's called down here then uh, the next one is single that's just equal to cmt dot sensors and single okay enter um, that done that done that done I think that should be it so we also want to equip or not equip we want to import and equip so uh, some more properties we want equipped here so equipped is equal to own and then equipped equipped make sure you spell it right so this here is the same as this here then also we want to import in timer so timer is equal to own and then timer alright um, reload as well so reload is equal to own uh, reload and I think that is about it so what we're going to do here is uh, go to line 22 or just press enter a couple times give us some more space I'm going to type in if grenades is greater than zero and um, we probably just want single so and single dot positive and equipped is equal to uh, we're just doing grenades aren't we so equipped will be equal to three and timer is equal to zero and reload is equal to false now basically what this does is uh, it checks well yeah all of that stuff and the reason we're using reload is we're almost gonna like hijack this property use it for two purposes uh, basically the grenades don't really have a reload animation so we can actually use that to our advantage and use this reload property when our grenade is being thrown so we can't do anything else while that animation is playing so what we'll do here is do a colon and then press enter and then we'll have to import in our scene here which I keep forgetting to do so bge.logic.getCurrentScene and then over here what we'll do is oh, we still have to import in self so self is equal to scene.objects and then own.name otherwise instead of own.name you can type in gunspawn as it's spelled here uh, but again up to you so I'm gonna press enter here I'm gonna tell myself what this is so just self then down here what we're going to do is type in self and then we're going to assign reload to uh, true so if we click while we're on three grenades is greater than one time is equal to zero and reload is equal to false then we'll set uh, that to true what we also want is um, and change is equal to false because we don't want him changing while it's throwing so in here I'm going to import and change as own change alright we'll just set up the timer here so if um, equipped is equal to 3 and reload is equal to true and timer is equal to not equal to actually if timer is less than and the animation is 50 frames long so if it's less than 50 we'll do a colon enter and then in here we'll do own timer minus what is equal oh not minus plus what is equal to 1 uh, make sure you spell timer the same as it is here so then we'll press enter delete four times then over here uh, we also need to animate or activate the animation so what we might do is if equipped 
is equal to three and oh and and reload is equal to true and timer is equal to zero we'll activate our grenade throwing and we'll also send out a message to our pins or to our grenade pin to play that animation so in here we'll type in cont dot activate and then smoke oh no grenade throw no just gren underscore throw then over here own let's move my cursor own dot send message to send a message a round bracket and then in here may as well make this bigger like that um what are we gonna send we're gonna send um i guess just gren throw then a closing quotation mark, a comma, two quotation marks, as this part is the body, but we don't have anything to send. Another comma, and then here, uh, who are we sending it to? So the grenade pin, basically. So uh, we'll select the grenade pin here. That's just called grenade pin. So we'll do a quotation mark, grenade pin. Spell it exactly the same as here. Closing quotation mark, closing round bracket. And that should be that done. On our pen here, we'll quickly add a message, and that will be for Gren Throw, as we've spelt it here. Then over here, we'll add our actions. Move this along. Type in grenade pin, and then select that. This will also be 50, and we'll give that some blending. All right, so that is that part done. And then we need to check whether the timer is equal to 50. So if equipped is equal to 3, and reload is equal to true, and timer is equal to 50, as in we've finished the animation, we'll do a colon, next line, and now we have to deactivate, so cont dot deactivate gren underscore throw, and then over here, own, actually no, we want to reset uh, reload, so actually we need to also minus a grenade from here so what I might do is do that initially over here so under self reload is equal to true I'm also going to type in own grenade or grenades uh, we'll have to go to layer one check our gun spawn okay it's, it is called grenades so type that in here grenades closing quotation mark closing square bracket and then minus what is equal to 1. I'm going to type in self, then we'll type in reload, closing quotation mark, closing square brackets, and then we'll assign that to false. We'll also assign timer, uh, we'll just do what we usually do, so own timer and then minus the amount. I'm just going to say 50, if that ends up being minus 1, we'll have to change it to 51. Then what we also want to do is if the grenades here are greater than zero and this has finished we want him to play the sort of up animation of picking up another grenade so in here I'm gonna do uh, press delete four times okay to start there and then we're gonna type in if equipped is equal to three and reload is equal to true and timer is equal to 50 and uh, grenades is greater than zero then we'll do a colon and in here we'll type in cont dot activate and then a uh, round bracket and gren up then a closing round bracket and press enter go to the next line and then type in else if or elif and then equipped um, is equal to three and reload is equal to true and timer is equal to 50 and grenades grenades is equal to let's say zero then a colon and now we want to send um, or change target back to say weapon one so what we'll do here is uh, type in target so target is equal to own target alright and then here we will type in own target 
is, or well, actually you have to type in self to assign it. So self target is equal to, and we'll just say one. So by default, once we throw a grenade, that will assign it back to weapon one. We still have to do one more thing, and that is making the grenade invisible after we throw it. So I'm going to go to layer two, and I'm going to select this, a message here, and that will be for the message uh, Gren Invis. Invis. Okay. Then we'll turn that on. And then what we'll do is end the object. So um, actually, we'll just connect it up to these two here. There we go. Set remove the parent and end the object when it gets the message Gren Invis. Uh, because we're ending the object, this will get deleted as well so that should all be fine then what we'll do is on the frame that we're actually throwing it so I think that is frame 40 I'm gonna have to double check uh, yep frame 40 so on frame 40 we want to delete the current uh, grenade and then we're gonna actually spawn in a moving one so what we're gonna do here is uh, between when time is equal to 0 and when it's equal to 50 we're going to type in if equipped, and I can never spell equipped for some reason, is equal to 3, and reload is equal to true, and timer is equal to 40, and we'll do a colon, next line, uh, own dot send message, and grin invis. Uh, this is actually going to have to be in quotations, like here. And then also, like I did up here, I can do the same thing and send it to the specific object. Um, but I'm just going to leave it. Now what we're going to do is we're almost going to need a sort of moving grenade. So we're going to select our spawn here, our gun spawn. We're going to add in an edit object. And we're going to give it some... Well, first of all, I'm going to select local here to get my direction and positive Y is outwards so we'll select local and then basically the reason we select it is so if our player turns around the grenade doesn't constantly fly in one direction so select local then we'll do we'll leave the time limit because the grenade should end itself and then we'll do a positive Y of say 10 and then maybe uh, negative 2 on Actually, I need Z here, negative 2. Alright, so we might also give it some up velocity. So in here, maybe 3. Okay, and we'll give that a try. Now we need something to spawn. So what I'm going to do is select this, press Shift D to duplicate, and move it over here. Then I'm going to get rid of all of this logic, uh, which we don't need turn all this off and rename this to Gren underscore dyn so dyn that basically just stands for dynamic and for that reason you have to go over here and choose dynamic actually what we could also do is just choose rigid body um, yeah maybe we'll choose rigid body why not select this here and we'll choose sphere Alright, so uh, what we need to do is spawn in that object once we throw it. So what we're going to do is on frame 40, we also want to spawn in this object and go back to layer 1, select the gun spawn here, and we actually need to shoot, we need to connect this here. We're going to call this Grendine as well, uh, with only one D. Alright and then so join that one up there then we'll import it in up here so grenade spawn and that will be equal to grindine is equal to cnt dot actuators if i can spell it properly and then grindine there we go so we imported that one in then over here we'll do cnt dot activate Gren Dine. Alright, so that should work. We'll now select our grenade dynamic 
There we go. Okay. Um, that should be working fine. Number three. And if I click, nothing happens. So we'll go over to the error screen. And lots and lots of errors. So reload is the problem. And the reason is we've imported in our properties, but we never used them. So we can actually just delete these here. Press P. And there we go. That's sorted. So check the error screen again. Nothing there. Um, we'll go to 3. And we'll click and try to get it to throw a grenade, which isn't working. So check the error screen again. Uh, get current controller. So I probably spelled something wrong. CMT BGE dot logic dot get current controller. Uh, current controller. Uh, it seems to be oh, I'm on the wrong script. Okay. There we go. I missed out an O controller. P and there we go. We'll select three. We'll click and still nothing. Again. Our grenades are actually on zero, so let's give ourselves some grenades to throw. And then three. There we go. And we've added in our grenade. And I think I know the problem. The problem here is we need to join in the always. We need to join that so the timer is constantly going down. So what we might actually do is almost make this part of the timer. So what we might do is increase the timer and just add on however long Gren up takes, which I think if we go over here and select the rig and then we choose Gren up or Gren change, um, that is 20 frames. I think in the second tutorial, which I had to re-record, we ended up making it 10 frames, so just 10 frames for you if you've done that, uh, otherwise 20 frames for me. So. I'm going to do 50 plus 20. For you, it will probably be 60. For me, it will be 70. So I'm going to do when timer is less than 70. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, yep, set that all up. And then sort that out. Then over here, equip is equal to 3. Timer is greater than 50. And timer is uh, less than 70. For you, again, it'll be 60. Um, then it'll activate grenade up. And then we also want to spawn in a grenade. So scene.add object with a capital O. And we'll add in grenade. And then closing quotation mark, closing round bracket. Oh no, also in here, a comma, uh, own and then another comma and zero. So this is just where we spawn it and how long. So I'm going to possibly change this around a bit. So what I might do here is if it's equal to 50 and grenades is uh, or greater than zero, or maybe we'll do greater or equal to one, then what we will spawn in, we will activate, we'll deactivate grenade throw. Then we'll also use the spawning line so control X, control V, all right, uh, reload, that should all be fine. What we might do here is just type in self and assign timer to zero. It's equal to zero, there we go. And actually one thing we have to do is almost just remove this part completely because if we're gonna be adding in our grenade up animation as well, we sort of have to get that sorted out, so remove that. And then in here, what we'll do is if it's equal to three and grenades is greater than zero, or I guess greater or equal to one, then we'll do cnt.activate grenade up. Then we'll also type in um, self reload and then assign that to false. Um, and then also over here, uh, own timer and then minus what is equal to 51. Then we'll press enter, go to the next line. If it's equal to zero, we're gonna assign target to one, but we also have to uh, type in self reload is equal to false and own timer, or guess self timer, and 
we can assign that to zero is equal to zero. Okay, and then that will almost stop the timer there instead of having to go through all of this as well. Now we might as well, I might just assign this to uh, 50, I mean zero. So it's equal to zero. Alright, so the problem is pretty laughable, but it's just here I'm resetting everything before it's actually finished. So delete that here. So basically reload's getting set to zero, so it's timer before the grin well the animation even finishes. And um yeah, that was a problem there. What we need to do is uh check whether timer is equal to seventy otherwise. So what we're gonna do is in here actually not a good idea. We'll just change this one to if and then it'll be fine. So uh if equipped is equal to three and reload is equal to true and timer is less than or greater than no equal to seventy uh, and and we'll do a colon and in here we'll just type in c o n t dot deactivate deactivate I can't spell anything activate then in here we'll type in grin up to deactivate that animation and then we'll also reset everything so reload is equal to false and uh, self tie timer is equal to zero now in this criteria we could put uh, grenades is equal to that um, but if you notice under here if the timer is equal to 50 and it's already equal to zero then everything will get reset anyway this is sort of just checking if it even makes it to 70 so I'm going to try that again. Um, I guess wireframe is probably the best. So P to play. Then we'll press number three and throw a grenade. There we go. And he's done the up animation. And it looks, looks like we have a grenade. So that might have actually worked. Might give that a try. Change this to global. Go over to texture. Press P. And we have one. And oh, we still have our graphical glitch which is a pain anyway um, we don't want that we want three and then we'll throw a grenade and we have a new one hey so that is working which is awesome and then we get set back to one once we've run out of grenades so what I might do is as you notice they're spawning inside the player uh, thing which isn't too good so what we might do is actually have a spawner outside here uh, which does it for us instead of the gun spawn. So what we want to do is go to frame 40, we'll select our rig here, go to dope sheet and we will choose throw and then we'll press shift A, add ourselves in an empty S to scale and number head 7 this way, adding in a new empty, it ignores the rotation of this. That basically just means that now the um, well, grenade, it will be easier to apply movement. So what we want to do is press Z to go into wireframe, Alt H, and then we want to move this at here, so it gives the illusion it's behind the hand. So move it up here somewhere, and roughly to where that's going to be. Then we'll press... Um, well, I'm going to just hope this is the same as the smoke. So we're going to change it to smoke throw. And that is very close. So we'll move it sort of in between both. And here I'm going to call this grenade spawn. And then here we'll add at object uh, grenade and grenade dyne for the dynamic grenade. And then actually we have to recall this. Uh, Grendine. Uh, hold down shift, select the gun spawn, delete this one or cut it off and then select this one and join that in instead. Now what we can do is give it some movement so select this, go to local and then here, actually we can delete this one we don't need that. So this joint up one here uh, local for the movement and as you can see negative X so maybe negative 15 as 10 didn't do much 
maybe negative 12. That seems like a good round value. We'll give it some up as well. So on the Z, maybe 2. Uh, 2 should be... No, 2 should be fine. Maybe 3. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down shift, select the head, and control P and parent. So now that will all move together, and if we turn away, then the grenade spawn will still be there. Now, give it another try. Um, we'll go back to frame zero, press P. Oh, we have our reloading. I'm not sure how that worked. Anyway, over here. And there we go, that looks pretty convincing. Um, it doesn't look like it spawned in at all. Give that one another try. Alright, so I'm very happy with that. That turned out a lot better than the actual model. The problem was in the actual uh, FPS demo, I was spawning it from here. And then that was why it was all so big, and then it was stuck outside, and then the gun sort of went through the player collision as well. But this is looking very nice, and I'm very pleased with it. So if we have enough time, I'm not sure how long we've been recording for, we might actually move on to the smoke. So that shouldn't be too complicated, and it should be relatively the same. So we'll go to text editor, and what I might do is, because this is fairly large just by itself, we might actually sort of just change this up and just call it grenade or grenades.py then rename this here grenades and then just uh, yeah there we go and we don't need auto fire because throwing a grenade is only one click you don't have to hold down so we can delete auto fire here to make sure there's no errors so what we're going to do now is set up the smoke hopefully this tutorial hasn't gone on for too long but I'm just going to select all this and we want up to here. I better type in, I guess, frag grenade. And then we'll select underneath it, control C to copy, enter twice. And then in here, we'll type in smoke grenade, control V to paste. And that will paste that in. Here we want to check smoke. Um, if that's how we spelt it, yep, smoke. So we want to check whether smoke is greater than zero and equipped is equal to four. Time is equal to zero, that's all fine. We want to minus from smoke, minus one. Equipped is equal to four again. So um, equipped is equal to four. Next one, equipped is equal to four again. And uh, we want to activate smoke throw. So I'm going to check out how I spelt it, just smoke. So that's fine. Um, there we go. Okay, smoke. Then we want to send a message smoke throw to not grenade pin. We want to send it to smoke pin. So select the pin here. And then we'll choose smoke pin, or at least type that in here. So smoke pin, and then um, we need to add a message here, looking for smoke throw, like we spelled up there. Edit object, and uh, not edit object. What am I doing? Action, and we want smoke action. So just type in S, smoke pin action, and frame 50. Give it some blending and priority. Gwen Invis will change this to smoke invis select the smoke actually that message is sort of silly considering we have exactly the same thing set up here so we might just actually change this to end smoke uh, end smoke like we have here and just use that same system so we'll do the same for the grenade here quickly and get rid of that because I can't believe I just I didn't notice that Anyway, instead of grenade, we'll just do uh, end grenade. We'll just end, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Anyway, back over here, and that should be all fine. Uh, we want to add in smoke. So smoke here, S up. Alright. So S up here, and then S up here. And we have to set all these equipped to 4, 
this one here, this one here. Okay, time is all fine. Smoke. All right. Now what we want to do is change this animation to smoke throw. And that, if I, yeah, I spelled it right. Grenade dynamic we need to change. So what I'm going to do is over layer one, I'm going to select this, add an edit object, call this smoke dyne for dynamic. Join this up here first and then we'll import it in. So um, we'll do smoke dyne is equal to cmt dot actuators and then smoke dyne. So spelt the same as exactly down there. And then what we do is change this to smoke dine. Make sure it's under smoke grenade again. And if we haven't missed anything out, and we oh there we go, can already see something. We need to change this to smoke instead of grenades. So smoke, and then this one also needs to be smoke. This one over here. And I think that should be it. So I'll go over to layer 2, give ourselves a dynamic version of the smoke grenade. Shift D to duplicate. Again, you'll notice I'm missing out the pin on both. The reason for that is we pulled it out by the time it spawned in. So again, delete this uh, logic here. Uh, in another episode, not episode, tutorial, we'll be going over uh, making these grenades actually end by themselves and also spawn in an explosion. But again, that's probably sometime in the, uh, probably not too far future, but uh, still, it'll be a while away. So, smoke dyne for dynamic, how did I spell it here, underscore, so might add that in here as well. We'll go over here, physics, choose rigid body, and do the same. So collision bounds and sphere. Maybe that one might not work so good. So what we might do is um, identity and geometry. Nope, that's fine. We'll choose cylinder. That seems a bit more accurate for the smoke grenade. Um, you see it's missing out a bit here, but that should be fine. So. Uh, if we got all that sorted out, that should be good. No, we haven't. I can remember. Nothing here. So, smoke, smoke, dynamic, local, what do we do here? 12, this one will probably be a little less, so maybe 10, uh, just because it's larger. Okay, maybe not, maybe 11. It will be slightly less, though. Upwards would probably only maybe 2, uh, but that should be it, so... Um, text of view. So here what we want to do is go to 4 and if we click we can't throw a grenade. So we can throw in here but not here. So there's an error in the script and no there isn't. That's right, smoke is equal to 0. So what we have to do is select the gun spawn and give ourselves some smoke ammo. So a bit error. Alright and P and I have no idea what that's doing anyway uh, 4, throw a grenade and there we go that's looking pretty awesome uh, uh, what we might do is make both of them slightly bigger uh, both of the dynamic versions so make them slightly bigger with the scale and we might also apply the scale for both of them Okay, and then here, throw a grenade, throw a smoke grenade. Okay, I might give it some rotation as well. If we rotate the empty, um, although I doubt that will do anything. Uh, we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so rotating the empty works. Okay, maybe a bit more. Uh, then we'll press P. Reload that. Um, there we go. Throw a grenade. There we go. That's looking a bit better. They curve off a little bit. So what we might do is spin them out a bit more so it's uh, a bit straighter. All right. There we go. That's a bit better. And then the smoke grenade as well. 
There we go, so I'm happy with that. You can see we switched back to 1, which is good. But apart from that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. That worked out very well. Unfortunately, we do have some buggy glitches. I might give that a small try to sort of solve now. So select it. I'm going to hope it's in normals. So A to select everything and then recalculate. Um, and we'll just give that a try. Not bad, zero. And then P. And that was not the issue. So I'll just look into that problem later, or well, this one right here. And then we'll try solve it in another tutorial. So, uh, I think that is about it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, or share. It's all greatly appreciated. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Um, but again, it's probably something we needed to do anyway. But yeah, I think that's about it from me. So again, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.